lovely, lovely imps, there's been a whole flurry of news. As many of you in my audience will know, we are just a few days away from the beginning of Pride Month. Yes, that's right. Uh, I am very gay. Uh, I am also trans. Uh, this channel is full of gay and trans people, and we love that. And uh, obviously, Pride Month is a big month for this community because it's the one month a year uh, uh, where we get to feel a modicum of support uh, from the general population at large uh, in the midst of an incredibly, incredibly aggressive culture war push against gay and trans people. It's anyway, Pride Month is pretty important. Um, so there's been some news lately, uh, a lot of weird news about uh, uh, basically conservatives in America losing their minds over every example of gay or queer people being acknowledged or existing at all. I mean, we recently had the conservative meltdown, which by the way is still going on um, because Bud Light sent a single commemorative or a, a six pack of commemorative cans to uh, a social media influencer who happened to be trans. Um, uh, like not a not not like a super political social media inf influencer. Uh, her name is Dylan Mulvaney, and um, conservatives have been melting down about it, and they've actually convinced themselves that like um that Bud Light is over, like that there there will be no more Bud Bud Light. I literally was watching a conservative earlier today go on an extended rant about how they killed Bud Light, and I want to I want to just take a moment, just just real real quick. Um, to show you the stock for Anheuser Busch, okay? Um, Cause like you know, here let's just let's just bring it up real quick, okay? Here's the stock chart, okay? And we can go to the six month, and as you can see, it's at a six month low. Well, not a six month low, but it's at a a lower point in the last you know two or three months. The stock has gone down a little bit, but um. If you go to the last year, you will actually notice that they are quite high, um, like higher than they've been for a number of years. So conservatives have convinced themselves because they had a public t temper tantrum over six commemorative cans that were sent to a trans person that they've had some kind of massive um, win and that they've literally killed Bud Light as a beer. Um, of course they haven't. Well, another interesting thing has happened, which is uh, this year Target announced that they were going to be stocking um, more Pride merch and that they were also going to begin stocking um, some gender affirming clothing. Um, specifically that they were going to stock basic uh, binders uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with what a binder is, a binder is basically a, it's a top that is very tight so that it, it's like, it basically will hide breast tissue if you have breast tissue. And this is very gender affirming for people who want to appear more masculine. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, a breast tissue compressor. Um, and really, really minor thing, uh, the sports bras are already carried um, in targets all over America, all kinds of, uh, you know, uh, high support equipment is sold in targets all across America. But this year they announced, we're gonna start carrying some basic binders uh, for trans patrons out there to be able to have, you know, access to some gender affirming clothing if they so desire it. And conservatives have had an absolute freak out over this. Like, I mean, a complete and utter freak out to the degree that um, Target stores all across America are reporting bomb threats, shooting threats, uh, and vandalism of their pride, uh, uh, of their pride, like, marketing materials. And I, I actually have a video of a conservative volunteered himself doing this, and I thought it was rather funny, so I thought we could watch it because, you know, it's kind of iconic, right? So let's watch this this super-based, chad-pilled conservative take out some Target uh, Target merchandise. Ready? You guys ready? Here we go. That there is no insert. There's nothing on it. So. 
Whoa! Oh my god! Fucking Godzilla over here! Holy shit, can we get a replay? So. Damn! Oh no! He's taking it down! Oh, the cardboard box! Oh no! It's disgusting. It's Somebody, some random person says, what the fuck is wrong with you? Did you hear that? And then he goes, it's disgusting. It's devil worship is what he says afterwards. That there is no insert. There's nothing on it. So. Yeah. So now, of course, this is a pretty funny and laughable and pathetic and embarrassing example of, uh, of people uh, freaking out about it. Um, but I want to play you another clip real quick of, um, of, I don't know if I can call her popular. Uh, she's the boss of a couple of popular people, but she has a relatively popular show. Candace Owens has been talking about this. So let's listen to what Candace Owens has to say about Target real quick. At the very least about someone like Eric Carnell is that at least he's acknowledging that transgenderism is in fact satanic. It is a perversion of the truth. It is meant to harm people. Being trans is satanic now. Um, some of you will know that my name, my name, my, my channel name and the name I go by online is Demon Mama. And some of you who've been around for a long time will already know this story, but I got that name because um, when I started to question uh, uh, the teachings of the church, um, and I started to present more gender non-conforming. I hadn't fully come out as trans at this point, but I was, you know, more gender non-conforming. I had a family member who said that they believed I had been sent by Satan. They believed I was an agent of Satan sent to lead them astray. Um, and um, that was that. That was a a very interesting experience to me to have a family member go that far, all because I said, um, you know, I I didn't think that they understood the Bible very well. I wasn't even arguing like atheism, and I had just begun sort of presenting a little bit more gender neutrally, and they freaked out that hard, and so it kind of stuck with me. This fact that, oh, these people see that I'm a demon. I have had family members since that time, I have had family members tell me that they believe that demons um, are, are trying to control my mind, which is why I'm transgender. They believe that I am helping demons win the war uh, by, by being trans. So um, I like to believe uh, that there is a lot of power, and I would I, I believe this strongly, that there is a lot of power that comes from embracing the horrible and stupid things that people say about you and wearing it like armor. So I began to identify very strongly with uh, demonic imagery, but I'm, I'm, I'm an outlier, okay? Most queer people don't really do what I do. Most queer people don't have a split tongue and a bunch of piercings and get really into all the red and demonic imagery. I, I like that because that's my way of expressing myself. However, conservatives love to call trans people the devil. They love to call trans people satanic. They love to go fucking crazy about this shit. It's the most cringe and deranged thing that I can possibly imagine. Anyway, let's listen to what else Candace Owens has to say. It is meant to convince them to commit to decisions that will ultimately ruin their lives. You do not get your private parts back once you start to experiment with them. There's no... I, I... <laughs> a way that you can reverse those sorts of trends and they are aware of that because people are conscious about that and so finally i would say we have as i said earlier found a topic and a subject that we are saying absolutely not to conservatives have responded to target by, by the way she says we found a topic that we're saying absolutely not to Conservatives do that to everything. Conservatives said that to rock and roll. Conservatives said that to video games. Conservatives said that to D&D. Uh, &D. Conservatives said that to the electric car. Conservatives said that to the horse and buggy, okay? This is all that conservatives do. Conservatives are afraid 
They're afraid of the unknown. They're afraid of everything that moves. Their entire existence is characterized by fear. So it's not really a big thing when a conservative draws a line in the sand because they don't believe in vaccines or they don't believe in evolution or they don't believe in modern medicine or they don't believe in the wheel. Like, it's like literally a tale as old as time as conservatives being stupidly afraid of things that they don't understand. I say we will not shop there. We are planning to boycott Target. And guess what's happened? Well, the alarms went off at Target. This so what she says here is she's saying, oh, the alarms went off on Target. Now, I'm going to show you something in just a minute that's going to make this narrative a little more clear. CEO and other directors on their team met because they are concerned that they must get they, that they might become bud lighted, which is to say that they can completely sink their company because they have. To see, see, remember what I said? Uh, just a little bit earlier Th by the way it was a different it was a different conservative talking head that i was referring to earlier who said that they believe they destroyed bud light they actually live in a delusional fantasy world these people live in a complete and utter fantasy now she says uh Candace Owens here is saying, oh yeah, you know, they, they had to answer to what conservatives were saying. When of course, the truth is, the retail giant said in a statement posted on its website Wednesday, it was committed to selling, celebrating the LGBTQIA community, but was withdrawing some items over threats that were impacting our team members' sense of safety and well-being. Given these volatile circumstances, we are making adjustments to our plans, including removing items that have been at the center of the most significant confrontational behavior. What they're saying is they've received threats on their lives, their employees have been threatened, they've had people go in and vandalize these completely harmless pride displays. So we're gonna talk about what I think about Target doing this in the first place in just a minute, but I want you guys to understand that when Candace Owens says that their campaign is successful, what she means is that they've successfully intimidated random uh, low-level uh, employees enough that the CEO had to take action because their employees are in danger because a bunch of gun-toting fucking brain-dead Republicans are running in and saying, I'm gonna fucking kill you if you keep stuck in this pride bath mat! I'm gonna fucking, I'll bring my gun next time! I'm not kidding you. This is the fucking country that we live in right now. It's deranged. Conservatives in this country literally live in a fantasy world where they believe that it's normal human behavior to send a bomb threat to a, to a fucking supermarket because you don't like that they have a rainbow flag shirt in there. That's what she's talking about and she's celebrating it. Just so that we're clear, these conservative people do not care. They don't, they celebrate this type of insane, deranged, anti-social behavior. They celebrate it. Just remember that. About something, which is to say that they can completely sink their company because they have committed to this ideology. And now I am imploring every single person that is watching this to double down. Okay. We have them nervous. We have. What do you think that means? Double down when we know what actually caused the decision. What do you think she's calling for right here? In veiled language, what's doubling down when you're already sending threats of violence to random minimum wage employees, when you're already calling in threats to stores, when you're already defacing stores, what's doubling down? Them cornered, it is very simple for you to commit to never shopping at Target again. There is nothing that Target has that you cannot get somewhere else. Okay, we cannot just be the individuals that lament and complain and try to explain that the world is all going into a horrible direction and yet we do nothing about it in our personal capacity. We cannot continue to be those individuals. I think that my colleague Matt Walsh probably said it best in this tweet. He wrote, of course, I don't give a shit what Matt Walsh says. Matt Walsh is a complete and utter idiot. I mean, so is Candace Owens, but I just figured you'd get, I would give you guys a idea of the type of shit that's going on around Target right now. Um, 
So their solution, let's just run this back real quick and get a summary so that we all understand. Um, their solution is uh, stop buying everything. Oh, actually, no, you know what? I should play the Matt Walsh thing. You know what? Fuck it. We're going to make an exception. Let's play the Matt Walsh the thing The goal is to make, make pride toxic for brands. If they decide to shove this garbage in our face, they should know that they'll pay a price. It won't be worth whatever they think they'll gain. First, Bud Light, and now Target. Our campaign is making progress. Let's keep going. And he is absolutely right. It is making progress. It is absolutely right that we have them scared. As I said, we have them backed into a corner. And now is absolutely the time for us to pounce. So do not shop at Target or else you're gay and you're a pervert. <laughs> Incredible. You hear it. You hear it from, from their mouths. Uh, don't shop at Target or you're a gay pervert. Okay. Um, incredible, incredible intellectual power coming from the, uh, talking heads of the far right. Um, it's amazing. Um, so, uh, let's just, again, I just want to do the quick, oh yeah, there's another one. There was another one that I wanted to bring up real quick. Oh yeah, this is the one right here. This is the tweet that I, I thought she was going to show. Here's what we should do. Now this is Matt Walsh. Matt Walsh is a uh, is an employee of Candace Owens' company. Um, here's what we should do: pick a victim, gang up on it, and make an example of it. We can't boycott every woke company or even most of them, but we can pick one. It hardly matters which, and target it with a ruthless boycott campaign. Claim one scalp, then move on to the next. Now. I could talk, we could talk about how uh, Matt Walsh seems to think that they claimed the scalp of Bud Light uh, because Bud Light has, for unknown, for who knows reasons why, lost a few bucks of stock value, but is still higher than they were a year ago by a long shot. Um, we could talk about all of that, but instead, I want you to realize what they, what the conservative worldview really ends up being it's just them running away they run away from every store that has gay stuff in it they get angry and they act like giant babies they're anti-social they alienate everyone who isn't them if you're not in lockstep with the conservative ideology you're woke you're gay you're a pervert you're a groomer everyone just candace owens just said if you shop at Target, you are gay and a pervert. That's the type of, of worldview that these people have. There is no, um, there is no like middle ground. There's no compromise. There's no difference. You either agree with them in every single insane thing. You either get mad about Mr. Potato Head. You either get mad about Nike, get mad about the M&Ms, get mad about Target, get mad about Bud Light. You either spend your entire life getting mad about stupid shit all the time. You either only consume their boring, angry, miserable, uh, uh, dreadfully sad content, or you're gay and a pervert and you're bad and you're satanic. And what I'm trying to, uh, to illustrate here is that conservatives have no path forward except to hide in their dirty hole. That's it. All they can do is cry and retreat and lash out like fucking beasts. That's all that these people can do. That's all that conservatives know how to do. They run to their dirty little caves. They 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 pretend that they're that they're holier than everyone else and then they hope that they get some psychopath who goes on a mass shooting in a target. That's what they really that's what they're really gunning for. That's what they really hope that will happen. Um and it's a losing strategy. And it's actually amazing because the further they retreat, the more miserable they get, the more of them completely and utterly collapse from exhaustion because it takes a lot of energy to be mad all the time. It takes a toll on your psyche. It takes a toll on your body to be enraged, to be f blisteringly angry at all times, to be outraged, to believe that the world is closing in on all sides. The gays are coming, the gays are coming. And that brings me to my ultimate point, which is we need more of it. We need more of it than ever before. The gays need to be louder. The trans people need to be louder. The queers need to be louder than ever before. 
It needs to be blasted everywhere, constantly. Drive these people into their stupid, miserable holes. Let them retreat into their churches and their sad little living rooms where they where they quiver and turn on old episodes of Rush Limbaugh and they clutch their Bibles and they cry and they whinge and they spend $20 on anti-woke beer and they sign up for the anti-woke bank. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm not fucking kidding kidding you just so you guys know that's a real fucking thing uh, hold on let me just read this to you okay this was something that doe found earlier uh this is a real a real project that they're trying this is the pro-life bank what does pro-life mean honoring god first serving people and always choosing to support life all life. The pro-life bank proposed is an alternative to the legacy banking systems who for years have been unaccountable for their support of the largest abortion providers and other organizations that oppose God morals law, moral laws. Pro-life bank proposed is creating and stewarding a movement in banking that is secure, uncancelable, and abiding to the will of God. We're standing firm in the wake of the woke financial systems with a heart to serve the Lord. Don't believe me? Google pro-life bank. That's an actual conservative thing with a guy who made by a guy who works with TPUSA. The pro-life bank, the anti-woke bank. Retreat! Retreat! We gotta go to we gotta go to Jesus R Us and we gotta go to Pro Life Bank and we gotta go to anti woke coffee and anti woke beer. Everybody hide! Hide! The gays are coming! And the gays are just standing there. It's just somebody standing there like, hey, wearing a rainbow shirt. This is why. I think that it's time for gay people to be louder than ever. Let's crank up the music, so to say. Uh, it is obviously inevitable that these psychopaths want to uh, ignite more and more violence. It is obvious that these psychopaths want to make people angrier and angrier, but they're doing that anyway. And the, the, the more support that is shown for gay people, the more exhausted uh, and and tired out and defeated these people become the more they run for their goddamn lives because guess what their uh, their worldview can't self-perpetuate it requires themselves to fucking uh, abuse and isolate i grew up in a super christian cult Many of you guys know this. We're going to be talking about this more later on in this stream because I'm going to be talking about atheism, Christianity, and my beliefs on religion. It's something I talk about very, very openly on this channel. One of the biggest things in the extreme Christian church that I grew up in that they constantly reinforced was the was the need to keep people away from worldly influences you you don't watch the same tv you don't watch you don't read the comic books you don't read the harry potter books you don't play the pokemon you keep your kids isolated and away from everything that isn't the worldview that they want to control you with they cannot exist without isolation they cannot exist without indoctrination their worldview requires an unbelievable amount of life control to perpetuate it requires them to have a firm fist around the minds of everyone and the reality is because people are gay their kids are gay their kids are trans some of them are gay and trans and if you have a world where people go you don't need to feel like you're Satan just for being gay. As it turns out, those kids might feel okay to be themselves. Those people might feel okay uh, to live a life where they don't feel like they have to hate themselves for all of existence just for being the way that they are, just for being true to themselves. And that's why I think we have to crank it up louder and louder because they can't win. They have to run, they have to hide, they have to retreat to the caves where they can indoctrinate their children and beat their wives into, into submission and beat themselves into submission and pretend that their worldview speaks any truth at all when it doesn't. 
they are going to be, and they are going to continue angling for violence. They are going to continue engaging in antisocial behavior. But we will never, ever have a better world until we acknowledge that they don't fucking matter. That these, what these fucking freaks say should be laughed out of the public square. It should be uh, 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 laughed into the forests. Let them run and hide if they really desire it. Let them go hide in the woods with their stupid, backwards, deranged worldviews that make them miserable. And we'll see how it goes. They can't even handle a display with a rainbow on it. They can't handle the fact that a that a popular chain a, a chain department store might stock something that helps you uh, uh, up, appear the way you want to, even though that's all of the other, that's true of every other piece of clothing in the world. Every single piece of clothing in the world uh, has stylization that lets you appear a certain way. No, There's no difference for gender affirming clothes. It's just something they're weird and freakishly obsessed with and become gigantically bigoted about. So let's crank up the noise. Part of the reason I wanted to talk about this, by the way, I know this might come off as a little silly given everything that we just talked about, but one of the reasons I wanted to talk about this right now was because somebody asked uh, if I thought it was a good thing that the brand new Legend of Zelda game is so like vocally bisexual and so vocally queer. And the answer is yes, because the new Legend of Zelda game is beautiful. It's a wonderful work of art. Everybody loves it. Even the fucking conservatives can't resist it. And that's always true. Gay people make fucking beautiful art. Queer people make the art world go round and the conservatives can't fucking live without it. All they can do is angrily cope and act like freaks. Go and in, in, in scream at minimum wage workers because they're mad that there's a rainbow on a shirt somewhere. Have you guys seen the fucking conservatives losing their mind over uh, Transformers now, I think is what they're mad about because there's a Transformers character who says that they're non-binary and they're like, oh, I can't believe that the guy who turns into a car is non-binary. Ah! Come on. We got it. We have to call this bluff. This shit is ridiculous. Okay, nobody can stand this shit and we know that nobody can stand it because they're getting fucking creamed. The average person in America doesn't give a flying fuck about, uh, about the wokeness of Mr. Potato Head or the wokeness of the M&Ms or any of this stupid garbage. It comes off as deranged. They're preaching to a choir of other insecure, angry clowns. And they hope that they can convince a, uh, a, a, some of these like psycho freaks, like the guy who attacked the, uh, the Colorado Springs gay club. That's what they hope for. They hope they can find a guy like that, a guy who's so on the edge and so deranged that he'll go do something violent because it instills terror, because it makes people actually rightfully afraid of their lives. But the truth is there aren't that many people like that. There just aren't. So they're fighting a losing battle. They need to put in an unbelievable amount of energy to stay angry, to stay miserable, and to hope on God that they find some psychopath to do their dirty work for them. But that's a hard struggle. I say we stand strong together and we chant louder than ever. I say we stand strong together and we show them that the world is done with their putrid ideology, that the world is done pretending that these angry, miserable, and insecure people have any meaningful say on the future of the world. The conservative movement of America is a stone hanging around the necks of every single person on this planet. They make the whole world worse. They cannot even acknowledge basic tenets of reality, and we should call them on that because everybody knows it's true. Someone, call, someone called my Sailor Moon shoelaces gay in high school. 
that's the, that is the conservative mindset in a whole. They are they 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 see gayness in everything. And not in like not in like the way that there are just gay people who exist all over the place that lots of people are gay or bisexual or transgender which that's true, but they see it in all kinds of things. If you have a purple toy, if you own a purple slug toy, well, that must be because you're gay because apparently in their minds, purple is a gay color, even though purple was considered a royal color less than a hundred years ago. Their worldview is deranged. Anyway, that's all I have to say about, t oh wait, no, there is one more thing I wanna say. Target, beef up your security. Just remember that at the end of the day, corporations will never have your back. Target is is making a decision that is profit motivated. Now remember, Target is the is the company that will hire security guards to to uh to 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 intimidate you from stealing uh, a toothbrush. They will beef up their security and put locks all over their razor blades. But they're not willing to beef up their security to protect their employees from deranged conservatives uh at the end of the day every company is always going to follow the profit motive and you always have to remember that rainbow capitalism is not a winning strategy you can't bank on rainbow capitalism it doesn't actually mean anything uh uh outside of a it's a it, it can be a representation of the general uh of the general feeling of people if you happen to see some pride merch in a store uh it probably means that there's enough people that are gonna buy it that it's worth worth the money for them to put that stuff up that's about it that's all that it really means and just remember they'll always retreat in the end but um those of us here who are listening uh aren't woke we aren't uh, woke corporations. We aren't, uh, uh, you know, rainbow capitalists. We're just people. Um, and we can be as loud as we want about whatever we want. So we should be as loud as we can about loving and protecting queer people of all types. Um, it is cowardly of Target to, uh, to, to remove the merchandise that they're removing, obviously, but also uh, it's to be expected. They're a corporation. Obviously, they are not going to tolerate uh, uh, threats, but the rest of us should acknowledge and recognize that this is why the conservatives are doing it, this. A handful of deranged and anti-social conservatives are making it the problem of corporations uh, by, by threatening people, by terrorizing workers, that's the way they decide to go about it. And so the world gets to have less nice things because of the way they behave. Just keep that in mind. And again, I think we should call their bluff. We should say, go ahead, yell and cry about it. Nobody gives a fucking shit, you giant whiny baby. And again, let's just remember, let's just, just for a refresher, We'll go real real quick. I'll just play this clip again. Let's watch this clip again of a conservative American in action. Let's just, no let's interest. see it. Watch it again. Watch it in it. all its glory. So. The, the most, the biggest giga chad ever with his grungely neck beard, his crappy Trump shirt, his dirty blue shoes and his tombstone socks. Dripless motherfucker. It's disgusting. It's devil worship. It's devil worship. Talking about devil worship in the middle of a target. Oh, it's devil worship to have a rainbow on a sign. Losers, pathetic losers. No one wants to be a conservative. No one wants to be around conservatives. And I say, let's give them their wish. You guys remember one last thing. This is the last thing I'm gonna say on this topic. You guys remember when every conservative newsletter during the Trump era was publishing articles about how um, nobody could, no, conservatives couldn't get dates on uh, on dating sites because people would, uh, you know, people would, would throw away their profile the moment that they saw um, that they, they were like a, a conservative? Good. That's 
That just goes to show you how intolerable conservatives really are. Nobody wants to be around a freak conservative because as it turns out, people want to live their life, enjoy art, see beautiful things. They want to hang out with their gay and trans family members and friends. They want to be able to enjoy uh, you know, art made by gay people. They want to be able to enjoy art with gay people in it. They want to be able to have a good time and be themselves and not have weird Bible clutching freaks uh, screaming down their throats because they decided to watch The Office or because they bought a bag of M&Ms or whatever. There you have it. Let's get louder and as loud as possible for pride. Let's be as loudly gay and as loudly queer and as loudly trans as we possibly can. Trans rights, trans thriving, and make sure you press that subscribe button down below if you want more content like this from Demon Mama. Because I talk about this type of stuff all the time. This is queer central on my channel. If you're out there, if you're, if you're, if you even like queer people, if you even think queer people are kind of cool, but you're straight or whatever, come on and hang out, press the subscribe button and enjoy the show. Thanks for supporting me.